Today we're going to look at the difference between live stats and statistic reporting. Live stats is a snapshot of what's happening right this second, and statistic reporting is a look at what happened yesterday. Every morning when the servers send their logs back to the main uh, database server, the logs are then looked at and you can get a detailed description of everything that happened. Live stats tells you what's happening right this second. Allow me to show you the live stats. Let's go to our browser. And then from our browser, we'll bring up our netbroadcasting.tv live stats server. When you bring up the live server, you'll just click on the tab that says Live Stats Dashboard. And we'll give you a close look at this here now. This is a representation of what's going on live right this second. As you can see, this client is having a live event right now and has around a thousand people on. There is also a graph next to the live stats number, which gives you a running show of what's happening on there. By this graph, it's easy to see when they turned on the live stream. This is also a great place to troubleshoot if you notice large jumps in numbers up and down. Well, then it's time to perhaps call support. The second type of streaming that's done on the live stats is your on-demand streaming. And by on-demand, I mean a pre-recorded item that is placed on the server and then is played. The on-demand numbers will usually be lower than the live streaming numbers, but it's very interesting to look at to see how many people are watching your files at any given moment. It's also a really great tool to see what types of promotion work. If your average is every day, let's say, 30 viewers on at any given moment, and you put in a big link on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts, and suddenly you notice your average is 60, well, obviously that worked, and that's something that you should be doing more of. Well, that's it for live stats. Next time, we're going to be talking about statistic reporting, and we do that with a program called Sawmill.